A Tulsa businessman is frustrated tonight after the same man got into an office building twice in the past month, stealing items both times and getting caught on tape both times. News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulbright explains how the business owner is now taking matters into his own hands. The owner of this business complex is so frustrated, he's now posted a picture of the suspect right on the front door, and he's offering a $500 reward to anyone who can identify him. This video shows the first time the man came into the office building near 51st and Harvard. He came through a back door, was on his phone pretending to be lost, so no one paid him much mind. When he sees a chance, all of a sudden we catch him on video walking through two or three offices. And it's just petty stuff, Lori. He picked up... Um, when he came in the first time, he picked up two cell phones and a, and a pad, uh, you know, like an iPad. So he's probably getting 50 bucks out of that stuff. Because of the petty nature of the crime, they had to fill out a police report online. Then he spent thousands of dollars to upgrade security, adding a card slider to the back door and keypads inside. Nobody's going to be brave enough to walk in the front door. No, he walks in the front door. These are surveillance pictures from the second time the same man came back for more. Again, he appears to be on his phone until he notices some people leave their office for a few minutes. So he goes inside and this time grabs two more cell phones and a woman's purse. Now, Paul Hood is offering a $500 reward for the man's identity, saying that's cheaper than all the security upgrades, plus the inconvenience to the victims. Well, it's obscene because the, the benefit to him is so immaterial. I mean, stop. Come here, I'll give you 100 bucks on my wallet. I mean, if you need help, we'll help you. And admittedly, one of the reasons these crimes aren't taken so seriously is anytime someone steals something that's valued under $1,000, it's a simple misdemeanor. In Tulsa, Lori Fulbright, Oklahoma's own News on 6.